Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our series, The Experience of God, with our ongoing conversation on the topic of the knowledge of God. We began this mini-series within our larger series, which we will be discussing throughout this week and perhaps into the next. And in this, we articulated that the knowledge of God that we're speaking about is not a knowledge that is based in facts and figures, although as we learned in the previous episode, this is important, a framework which allows us to stay in the proper orientation so that we may come to know God more authentically. But this isn't the only way that we theologize, that we offer words about God. And I noted at the end of the previous episode that this is because God is ineffable. He is beyond our understanding. Ultimately, we might say that our words fail when we are describing the God who has self-revealed. Because how can words contain him who is uncontainable? So what does this mean? How do we theologize in a way that speaks to this reality? Well, there's a type of theologizing known as apophatic theology, apophatic thought. It's theology by negation. In some ways of describing it, one might say that it is saying what God isn't. The theology of the Fourth Ecumenical Council is a good example of this. We know that Christ is fully God and fully man, but how we describe that reality is done so with four statements of negation. It's without confusion, without separation, without division, and without confusion. Making these statements in the negative allow us to say that we know these things to not be true of God, but what this union between the divine and human natures in the person of Jesus Christ means is beyond our full articulation. It is a mystery, not that we can't explain it, but because we cannot put words to it. So it is theologizing by negation. But I want to emphasize the reality that we are speaking about things when we talk about God that are beyond our ultimate comprehension and which words cannot fully express. So ultimately, the highest form of apophatic theologizing is pure experience and silence, which is why one of the most significant forms of prayer that we have in the Orthodox Church is hesychastic prayer, prayer of silence or stillness, standing in God's divine presence and having an encounter with him. Now, this experience which comes out of our standing in God's presence is that which allows us to have articulations of our experience, which we call theology. And theology emerges when all of the community of faith come together and begin to find words that best express this shared experience. And in the next episode, we will talk about how we as Orthodox Christians understand the formation of theology in relationship to our understanding of the knowledge of God. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a note in the comment section, send us a message on social media. If you'd like to support this ministry, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. If you'd like to support this ministry financially, be sure to click on the link below. God bless you again. We love you dearly. Have a beautiful rest of your day.